Hey, I want to share with you the four keys to achieving success in sales. The four keys. I want to walk through each one of these four. Number one, it's discipline and focus. Now, you might say that's two. No, no, I, I'm just calling that one because here, here's what I found. The best salespeople in the world, top performers, they're incredibly disciplined with their time. They're incredibly focused. They're incredibly focused on their objective. They know exactly who they're dealing with. They know what their objectives are. They, 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 they have laid out their plan and they're incredibly disciplined with their time. See, top performers are disciplined and focused. And what does this mean? This means they're willing to do things that the average performer will not do. Don't stop and sit there and say, oh, I'm not going to do that. Top performers do that, which you don't want to do. And that's why they're top performers. If you are not willing to do top performer, and that means doing things that others don't want to do, making calls that others don't want to do, staying late, working longer, being more diligent with how you use your time. But you see, that's the whole thing. They get more done in a day because they're incredibly disciplined with their time. They're incredibly focused on their objective. See, that's number one. Number two is it's the commitment to understanding the customer. Now, I didn't say the customer. I said understanding the customer. And this is what's key. Because the the key to achieving success in sales is understanding the needs of the customer. I can have all these customers out there. I can have all these names and all these people and so forth that I want to contact. But until I understand their needs, forget it. You see, how can I put a solution on the table? Until I understand their needs. And this is the beautiful thing. This is why it's number two, because discipline and focus gives me the time and the process and the motions to be able to spend more time with the customer to truly understand their needs. Again, the average salesperson races forward and never understands the needs of the customer. And then we wonder why. They can't close deals. See, the, the top performer, when, when you're achieving success in sales, you know that I can't even begin to think about a solution. I can't even think about proposing or putting anything on the table about my product or my service until I understand your needs. I'm committed to understanding the needs. Number three, it's the people you associate with. Whoa, that caught you out of left field. Yes, it did. But here's what I found. We become the sum of the five people we associate with the most. Jim Rohn said that line years ago, and I firmly believe that. I look back over my career, and the times that I've been absolutely successful have been the times that I've been surrounded by great salespeople, and we lift each other up. Uh, Other times, I've struggled, and I look back and I go, that's because I, I wasn't around top performers. I was around Low performers, average performers. You have to be absolutely careful. This is why top performers always have a peer group. They always have other people that they can reach out to, that they can connect to, that they, that they absolutely believe in. And you got, and you better do that. You had better do that. You have to be absolutely careful about who you associate with. And if they're not a top performer, you don't have time for them. You see, oh, isn't that interesting? Discipline and focus and top performers spending time with them are going to lead you to better answers, better, better questions, better ideas as to how to understand your customer better. Number four, it's your faith. Yeah, your faith, your personal faith, your belief system. For me, it's my belief in God. It's my walk with the Lord. Whoa, you're getting, some of you might be getting a little bit squirrely right here, a little bit squirmish. But here's why I say this. It's because it's my anchor. Now, you may not choose that. You may choose something else, but but you you have to have a belief system. And when you have a belief system, you're anchored. Because I'll tell you what, being in sales, even if you're disciplined and focused, even if you're, 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 you know, hanging out with the right people, it's still rough out there. And here's what I found. Every top performing salesperson I deal with has a very strong faith, very strong belief system. Think about that for a moment. You see, what does that do? That gets you through the low points. 
Because regardless, if we're going to be achieving success in sales, there's going to be highs, there's going to be lows. And it's your belief system that anchors you. It's your belief system that allows you to start the day off right. See, my, my personal faith is something I start off with each day. And combined with my exercises, compare and combine, it, it, it allows me to, to, to do the day right. And I can't stress that enough. The four things again, it's your discipline and focus. Two, understanding your customer. Three, who you associate with. Four, your personal faith. You combine those four things and you're going to be well on your way to achieving success in sales. I'm Mark Hunter, the Sales Hunter. Great selling. 